Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning, and it is, again, I have to look, 825. Been up, got the husband off, got the animals taken care of, vacuum run, dishes put away. You know, all my normal every day. But, you know, in the meantime, I had the TV on, which I always do for the noise. I don't normally sit and watch it. Well, first thing this morning on TV comes Disney and DeSantis. Well, first of all, let me tell you, I absolutely love, love our governor. At this time in history, I wouldn't want to have any other gov governor, period. He's done a lot for us here. However, Disney with me is a different story. Last time I went to Disney... I'm going to guess maybe, let's see, the boys are 19 and 20. About 12 years ago It's when I was sick. We wanted to do as much stuff with the boys as we could because we didn't know if I was going to be here or not. Doctors didn't know. Of course, so, you know, I had all the usual equipment, wheelchair at home, walker, Oxygen tanks, blah, blah. And when I went out, I had my own, I call them my giddy cart, you know, get on that fucking thing and have to ride everywhere. That in itself was degrading. That in itself was the worst thing in the world. So anyhow, we planned a weekend over at Disney to take the boys um, on all the parks, have a good time, you know, enjoy what time we thought at that point we had been there all day what a rude bunch of people most of them that were there and it was arm to arm and I hate being in situations you know that's why I don't like to go to a lot of flea markets and things like that when they're real busy you know sweaty arms rubbing up against you and people stepping on you and pushing you I, I don't do that well at all but it was for the boys, you know. None of these people spoke English, so, you know, they couldn't look at you and say, I'm sorry or whatever, you know, just rude. So, anyhow, it's getting time for the night parade. My boys were all excited. So, I told Chris, I said, um, you know, go ahead and get up front along the street and I'll sit back here and uh, wait. And what I did was there was a couple of businesses, I don't know if restaurants, stores, whatever, at this point, I was so mad. And there, where they come together was like a little triangle. So I backed my big ass in that giddy cart in that corner to stay out of the way where everybody could walk by. The littles could, you know, watch the parade. A fucking Disney employee, a Disney employee came to me and said, you can't sit there. And I said, I'm sorry. You cannot be sitting there. And I'm like, but my husband and the boys are right there. They're watching the parade and I didn't want to be anybody. So, you know, I'm trying to be nice. Didn't want to be in anybody's way. So I backed up over here out of the way. Well, you can't sit there. I said, where am I supposed to go? Well, they just said, well, you can't stay there and don't let me find you there when I come back through. All right. Well, I moved on down a little bit, you know. Which caused my husband to have to search for me because I wasn't where I told him I was going to be. So, you know, of course, he got a little worried. And the more I thought about it, the madder I got. So I went to one of their little Disney customer service. And I told him what happened. And I said... Why was I talked to like that? I said, I was out of the way. I wasn't bothering anybody. There was no, no parking signs there. I said, it was it back in the dark in the corner. And I'm waiting for my family to, well, blah, 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 blah. Let me go tell somebody, you know. So somebody tells somebody to tell somebody. So I said, you know what? I'm done with you people. I'm just done. And so we proceeded to go out the door, and here comes somebody. Wait, ma'am, wait, wait, wait. Their solution was, not this point, 
matter in a wet goddamn harness. Hang around for the late night parade and they'll make sure that I have VIP status up front. And I said, you know what, fuckhead? I didn't ask for VIP status before. I was staying out of everybody's way. And one of your employees spoke to me the way they did. And now your answer is for me to stay around here longer than I intended because I'm leaving. To stick around so it's convenient for you to say, oh, well, I took care of the fucking problem. I said, kiss my ass. And I told Chris, I said, let's go. So we made our way out back to the... And we still had two more days parks to see. No. And no. They already got our money for the admission. There is no way they were going to get another dime for drinks, foods, whatever. Mm -mm. So we took the boys um, to Old Town in Kissimmee. Which they love it anyhow. You know, go-karts and, and things like that to race. So... But yeah, that was the last time I ever went. I could give a shit less if Disney is ever there, if they ever open their doors. So anyhow, I'm watching TV this morning. And I knew that Disney had, you know, some special bullshit in the state because they're so big, you know, and they bring in a lot of revenue and tax dollars and blah, blah, you know, that kind of shit. So I got all that. But I'm listening this morning in depth with the Disney DeSantis thing. Um, I was trying not to pay any attention and make any type of an opinion. I didn't realize how much power they had and why, you know, the thing with DeSantis is going on. Them sons of bitches, they're their own town. They make their own laws. They do their own um, in inspections on things and they don't have to follow local, state, nothing. They do what they want when they want. And apparently, the whole thing started something about gay some. I don't know. Because you know what? I don't pay attention to that. But apparently, a lot of the employees at Disney, you know, that's their business. I, I don't doubt them for that. But you know what? And I'm going to get real blunt with this one. If you're going to bend over and let somebody give it to you up the butt, or you're going to let them lap dive on you, that's your fucking problem. Don't put it out there. I don't want, I didn't want it out there around my children. That's a personal choice. I, I'm not going there. I really, I'm not going there because I'm not. Anyhow. So it started over something like that. I'm trying to be proper and appropriate here, but ooh, my description of things could get out. But that's my personal opinion. Anyhow. So I get that DeSantis would like them to follow the same laws and rules and I didn't really know that they weren't. I knew that they were their own little world in the middle of Florida, you know. A very rich world. However, wouldn't hurt my feelings if they did pack up and get the hell out of here. Really wouldn't. I get it. Revenue, people coming from all over the world to go to Disney World. Uh, I don't care. Our roads wouldn't be so congested. Our prices probably wouldn't be so high. People could still come here. We have a lot of attractions, a lot of beautiful places that you don't have anywhere else. So I'm not saying no tourism. I'm just saying, you know, I've been here 45 years, I think, now. It's time to cut back on it. It's just time, you know. But here again, that's my opinion. That's how I feel. But Disney can close their doors while they can. 
They really could. I'll probably go to hell for saying that or somebody will try to come after me for voicing my opinion or I'm not trying to shove it down your throat. I'm not trying to make it political at all because that's what it is. It's a political thing. You know, just like religion, I have my own views on that. And, um, you know, as long as you don't try to shove yours down my throat, we'll get along good. But, yeah, the whole Disney, DeSantis, um, I just, why can't they come to some kind of a, you know, because I know they pay taxes and, and bring revenue to Florida. I get all that. But when it comes to the personal things, like, the politics and the religion and the sexual orientations and, you know, what you identify as. And that should stay out of business and government. That should stay in the home where it belongs. It really should. Because I'm not going to go there because I know somebody's going to get mad at me. I know they are. I'm going to go there anyhow. Say years down the road, if I'm still here, and say one of my grandsons, because that's all I got is boys. One of my grandsons comes out that he's gay. Okay. I still love you. I'll always love you. However, Don't expect me to go to any rallies or any of that kind of stuff because that's your beliefs. You have the right to believe how you want and do what you want. Just don't force it on me, especially to where I have to make lifestyle changes um, to accommodate your decisions. I don't expect you to make lifestyle accommodations because I don't like your decisions. So, you know, we, we need to get a balance here somewhere, you know. Let's be fair about this. So, anyhow, that's my whole thing, you know. And the whole thing with DeSantis and Disney started over that. I, I don't know that much about all this um, sexual orientation and... We had simple words for simple relationship for people that wanted to do it a different way. It was never this major, I mean, I don't go a day that I'm not hearing about it. I don't want to hear about it. Why? That's your personal business. That should be taken care of in your home. But you know what? I'm 66 years old. I don't go out and do major campaigns about how many times I have sex being a senior citizen or who I'm doing it with or if I'm even still doing it. Why? Because it belongs to behind closed doors. I don't know. Sometimes I think My thinking is off. But, you know, no, it's not. It's my personal choice. It's my personal opinion. I don't make waves with anybody about anything they do. Actually, when I was younger and I had time to go out and lollygag with people and, you know, hang out. And most of my friends were gay men. Absolutely adore gay men. I just, I can relate with them so well. I, I just think they're sweet as hell. I do. So, you know, I, I have nothing against any of that. I just find it totally, utterly ridiculous that Disney and DeSantis can't come to some type of an agreement that would work for everybody. That would be my first choice to try to do, would be to make that agreement, you know, instead of try pulling this power, I'm more powerful than you
You know, I'm one of those people, anyhow. I just wonder who decided when we were going to start all this power and who was. And you know what really gets me is the real estate power. All I know is at one, you know, the world was created and people lived on the world and they lived under palm fronds and tree branches. And, you know, then we started graduating to teepees and tents and then adobe houses. And who gave anybody the right to say, I own... 100,000 acres over here. And this guy says, well, I only need about 30. I'll take this 30 acres. Who? And please, if somebody has the answer to this has been driving me crazy all my life. Who gave anybody the right to start dividing up the world, the country? But our country. And selling it off as real estate. Because who originally owned it and how did it get... I can't figure that out. I can't. I get it that where I live now, it was farmland and somebody owned it. But where did that person get it from? And where did the person they get it from get it from? And who was the one that delved it out and signed it off and said, okay, you own it. You have the rights and you can divide it up and you can sell it and make money off of something that was never yours to begin with. And then you could set laws and tell people what they can and can't do on their piece of property, even though they pay for it and they own it. These are the things that I think about, you know, I mean, not the other stupid stuff. People dwell on that so much. I just like to know how we get where we're at now, you know, and this whole property thing is just, I tried to figure it out. You know, it's just like the piece of property behind us that when we bought here, it was supposed to be no build. This whole area, like I say, it was farmland. And this is how I know, because it the person that sold it to whomever they sold it to could divide it up, but so much of it had to stay non-buildable just to preserve, you know, some of the beauty. Okay, wonderful. That's why we purchased this property because we're on a corner and behind us, that whole lot was non-buildable. We had thought about buying it just to have it, and we should have. But we just kind of didn't figure anybody was going to mess with it because it was supposed to be non-buildable. So there was that lot behind us, nice size lot. And then on the side of our home, on the other side of the street, um, there's like four lots over there that are non-buildable. So when you look out the side of my house, over that way, it's trees. And then, of course, out front, Caddy Corner is Brandon, across the street, Sandy next door to me is the asshole. But I loved it because we spent a lot of time outside and the pool is out back here and we had the trees around us. It was like a tropical, nobody could see anything. Nobody knew anything. I could walk outside with no clothes on. Nobody would have saw all these old goddamn wrinkles. However, I wake up one day. They're clearing the lot behind us. Eddie, what are you doing? Eddie, hold on a minute. Let me get my cat. He's got his arm stuck underneath his watering container. I don't know. Eddie, stop. What are you doing, buddy? Come on, you're going to have the water thing knocked over. There's nothing under there for you, okay? Is that better now that you spilled it? Okay, sorry about that, guys. My cats do some damnedest things. I don't know what he thinks he's after under there. But he put his paw through the bottom, you know, the things with the big watering thing. I put his paw underneath. There's like a little thing and went all the way under and to the other side got stuck. Anyhow, so I wake up one morning and I hear noise out there. They're clearing the land. And I'm like, I didn't even know that was sold. I didn't even know it went up for sale again because nobody was buying it. We were here. 
I don't know, about eight, nine years. And I was happy. You know, I was thrilled. I never wanted to leave here. This was my home. Guess what? There's a fucking house back there now. Mm -hmm. So we put six foot privacy fence. We had chain link. That's all we needed, you know, for the dogs. Put six foot privacy fence. I could still see from their windows all the way to the top of their roof. And if I step outside on my lanai, even though I have a six foot privacy fence because they're... It kind of goes downwards, the property. I can see everything that goes on over there. That's it. That's when I told my husband, I don't care. We want to sell the house and go, let's go. I, that just ruined it for me. You know, and I'm sitting back waiting for him to build the other two. I really am. But anyhow, my point is, how did they get away with that? was supposed to be no build. So the person that owned the property before whoever bought it and started developing it was just talking out his ass when he said a certain percentage of it has to be no build. Because they didn't give a shit. But it still brings me back to the point who in the beginning had the right to start divvying up property, charging people taxes, you know, putting it in parcels. Oh, now you got to, we got to keep insurance companies in business. So now you have to have insurance. And these are the things I don't get. You know, it's like when somebody will say, well, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so, and, -so and it's on Google or it's on the internet or it was on the news or here's my question. You know that for sure? Were you there? Did you see it? Because all you're doing is hearing it, and I don't believe what I hear. Were you there? Well, no, but, no, 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 there's no buts. There's no buts. It's just like, you know, these history books that we're writing nowadays about things that happened in history. Were you there? Do you know for sure that's how it happened? You know for sure that's what caused events that have gone on mm -mm. that's always my first were you there do you know that for sure and i'm not being a smart ass about it uh, because i was told and you all have heard this a million times from the time i was a little girl my granddaddy told me Believe in none of what you hear and half of what you see. Okay, so anyhow, enough about that property thing. It just drives me crazy. And it kind of brought me to mind that with the whole DeSantis um, Disney thing going on. Because I don't know who had the right, first of all, to sell them thousands and thousands of acres right squat in the middle of Florida and told him, oh, it's okay. You don't have to follow laws. Make your own. Who had that kind of authority? And how did they get it? I know you're going to say, well, we voted him in or you voted him in or what? I don't have any choice. You don't have any choice. We get this choice, this choice, and sometimes one in the middle. It's already been preset, you know, rules, laws, and they keep evolving and they keep getting worse, you know. One of these days we're all going to live in stacked up fucking cages and the doors will unlock at a certain time and then you better be back at a certain time and you will eat when they tell you and you will shit when they tell you and that's what it's coming to. And that's why sometimes I say, you know what? I'm so glad I am this age. Because I don't have to be around to see what kind of shit's going to happen. And what comes to mind with me, 
Remember the movie, Escape from New York City? Yeah, I see. One day, not that I'm wishing it. Oh, God, no. I got, you know, grandkids, and I'm sure they're going to have kids. And, you know, I'm going to have a family brewing from here out. I don't wish that upon them or anybody else, but that scares me to death. I see that coming, you know. I see it. But, you know, I've sat back ever, ever since I was a little girl, you know, sitting on the armchair with my daddy watching news and him explaining things to me and my grandpa, you know, teaching me things. And um, those were two brilliant men. I'm so happy I had them in my life. So, yeah, you know, I've always pondered things like this all my life. I guess critical thinking, maybe. The, but the core things in life are the ones that I worry about, you know. Having a roof over our heads, feeding my family, and making sure they're safe. Cell phones and internet and fast cars and big restaurants and drinking and drugs and none of that interests me. Never has. Ever, never, ever has. Always wanted to be a mom. I always wanted to be a wife. On top of being who I am, of course. I never wanted to change who I am by doing those things. But um, it happens. It does. I had to make a lot of changes, which I was quite happy to make. But I've done my term, so... So, I can't help but going back to this whole Disney thing, though. I didn't know that they were that deleted, I guess. I don't know what the cat's getting in the pond. I don't know about her. She's crazy. There she is. Um, I don't know what drives me crazy about it. I just, uh, and I'm sure more of this goes on in our country, probably around the world, than any of us know about. I'm just not quite sure how that happens when I can't even be happy on my own property with my RV. Not bothering anybody. And because the neighbor says she don't like it there. See where I'm going with all this? It doesn't just start at government, high up things. It has trickled down to us. That jackass next door doesn't like what you're doing. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm trying not to be political with my chat because I just... Hmm, I could get political. Waiting for that cat to fall in the pond. She's in the middle sitting on the... We have like... um. A little platform for the turtles so they can come up and sun themselves. And she'll jump from the edge or she'll climb down the waterfall when it's... I'm going to turn that waterfall on. Walk. I'm going to turn the waterfall on. If I can get out there. Come on. Hold on. I'm going to come back. I'm going to turn this around. 